After a sunny day, probably not as sunny tomorrow. Looking for clouds to fill the sky more, maybe not all day tomorrow, but fairly cloudy. I think most of the day looks uh, on the mostly cloudy side. Much colder weather arrives later on Thursday going into Friday. In fact, Friday may be one of the chilliest days we've seen since back in last January. So yeah, get ready for the little taste of winter coming. Could see some drizzle or some light rain showers around beginning on Thursday too when the front comes in. Might even be a couple sprinkles tomorrow with a, a second weaker front. Now visibility has been dropping over about the last 45 minutes or so. Just about five minutes ago it was a mile and a half in Brownsville. Now it's down to half mile. So fog is starting to form in areas of eastern Cameron County. We see the visibility also under a mile at the airport north of uh, Port Isabel, right about there on the map. So uh, some fog is possible in spots. I think the better chance will be in these areas, mainly over the lower valley over Cameron County and near the coast tonight, as there's a weak front coming in from the north. This front kind of just north of the valley now it should kind of park itself across the area tomorrow, but you see the air behind it's not tremendously cooler co to compared to out in front of it. So we should be a little cooler tomorrow, but you know, highs probably still in the 70s. The really cold stuff being kept back to the north for the moment. But satellite radar shows, again, not much happening. You can't see a front here on the map. It's not stirring up any weather, kind of just going to come down and sit on top of us tomorrow and maybe create a couple sprinkles and more clouds during the daytime. And even most of Texas is dry now, but things will be changing. Future track, once this first weak front settles over us tomorrow, we see it kind of hangs up somewhere in the valley. If you're south of the front tomorrow, it still maybe has a chance to warm back above 80 by afternoon, but south of the front by morning is also the better chance for fog. So I think Cameron County and maybe nearby areas of Willsey County, maybe eastern Hidalgo County may see some fog late tonight. During the day tomorrow, clouds probably not moving very much. Once they form, they should be around most of the day and you could see a sprinkle or two by midday and afternoon. And then this front kind of falls apart tomorrow. The second front is much, much stronger and comes in here Thursday morning right around sunrise and you see some showers lined up possibly along the front and behind it and then gusty winds, colder temperatures, more clouds coming in for Thursday. So possible that Thursday may start off in the morning able to squeak out into the low 60s briefly, but I think by afternoon everyone's in the 50s with gusty winds, especially the winds at the coast and some drizzle or light rain really driving down temperatures and that kind of spills into Friday. Maybe not as windy, but just as cloudy and a little bit of sprinkle or drizzle activity is still possible, but Friday looks like a cold day when it may struggle to even get to around 50 degrees. So high temperatures, the average is 74 will be near that tomorrow, but down into the upper 50s by Thursday afternoon and only 51 on Friday. And even that might be a bit on the high side in some areas if the clouds stay too thick. So your first one five seven day forecast highs around 75 tomorrow, 58 as you saw on Thursday and 51 on Friday. That's a cooling trend, but the cold front that comes in on Thursday only drops temperatures for about two to three days. I think Saturday morning will still be chilly if you're up early, but the sun may break through a little bit by afternoon and warm temperatures back above 60. And then Sunday, the warm stuff really comes back with a nice warm stretch for a few days. So chilly weather's coming back, but a man who never loses his cool is Joe.